Hi guys, well this is Blinky and Cutter from Isla Noise. We're here at Fet de la Musique. And as we were saying before, Fet de la Musique is a music festival, a showcase started in 1976 in France. And over the years, over the decades, it expanded to countries all over the world. Right now in 2012, Trinidad is one of the 32 countries across the globe that have events related to Fet de la Musique in the spirit of supporting underground music and up and, co up and coming talent. As we know, art and culture is the universal language and music is a reflection of what we see in society. So it's an honor for us to have this festival here in Trinidad and Tobago. We're here in Movie Town in Port of Spain, the capital of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're here with the amazing band Gasset. Yo. Maybe you guys can just introduce yourselves. Captain Nikolai Salcedo at your service. Captain. Proclaim Sola. Moshalina. Mandisa Vogels. What do? Right, so we have I have a drummer. You have to play his drums. Yes. Oh, you guys, how you how you guys feel about this gig tonight? Um, the gig was lovely. You know, um, Like every time you have a show, you know, every time you have a performance, you get a nice vibe on stage, you know. But I think tonight, actually, the vibe was just really there. It was. You know, and the band was really gelling, which was really an accomplishment because, in fact, we had people filling in on bass for Corey Sam, who's out in the country right now. Right. And we also had Richard Solis filling in on percussion for Tinica. Um, so, basically, it was really nice to just get the whole band together and really just get that vibe really fluid. I've seen guys in the past as a pod man. I've seen you guys acoustic. I've seen you guys go through different formulations of the band. And each time the songs reflect the same vibes but in a different incarnation, you know? So what, what is that like as you as a songwriter working with such a, a diverse and wonderful group of people? But each time you have a slightly different permutation of the people on stage with you. Well, Jen Gazette has the truth is here we have many incarnations even now even now uh if it depends on the gig we play you know sometimes we play acoustic we strip down to bare basics just me on rhythm guitar and lead vocal and man doing backup and technical doing percussion you know we do it as a man band with me or two john and corey man yeah. man. Here we are. that means you know, john who's saying here john lead guitarist john you guys don't know, John is a, a big head, one of our brilliant guitarists in Trinidad and Tobago, always been representing a very diverse Great show tonight. Great show. Great show. Great show. You know, uh, and generally it's like basically we, whatever incarnation the band has, we tailor the music to suit them. You know, right. because really and truly it's, we want to still get the message across by the same time, not make like the yeah, fans who know the full ensemble. Yeah. Right. You know, we don't want them to feel like because the band is stripped down, that somehow the music has changed Change. or the, the feeling is not there. No. They must still get the feeling that, yo, this is a full experience, you know? Right. Which is what I think we have generally achieved yeah. thus far, right. you know? And we're gonna keep working at that, you know? Because Trinidad is a, Trinidad and Tobago is a real weird place when it comes to the arts and music, you know? Sometimes you're not allowed to do certain things. You're not allowed to really do what the you would taboos. like to do. So therefore, what we've tried to do over the, over the time that we've been around is really just focus on no matter how we've been asked to, to, to present ourselves, focus on still presenting that vibe, making sure that it comes across real strong, making sure it hit people right where it hurts, in the chest, right. and the heart, right, right. and the brain, you know? So, but, that's the deal with Gazette and the They made the comment of the message always coming through, where there's acoustic, it's full band, it's a pan man, there's just you and Johnny, you always. and Otto, you and the backup singers. What is the message of Gazette? What, what is the core driving principle behind your content? The core message in Gazette can be explained through the song Captain, I think. You know, you have to be the captain of your own ship. You have to really just, you know, be self-confident, know yourself, you know, be yourself, be true to yourself. Even the love songs of Gazette is about, you know, really and truly expressing yourself fully. You understand what I'm saying? Even, even if that expression is not necessarily a happy one, but you have to express it. Because right. if you know, I mean, we just we just heard on the news yesterday something about you know a lot of people in Trinidad going mad and all this kind of thing. And right. half of the time people going mad because they're not really getting stuff out, now, you know. And Trinidad is a place that could do that here sometimes. Right. All the, the conservatism and stuff makes people want to right. hold everything inside, and that's not good. You right. have to be yourself, and especially as artists, I think that's our duty and responsibility mm -hmm. sure, is to sure. be ourselves every day, be ourselves every minute of the day, 
and really encourage our fans, really encourage our supporters and the audience right. to want that, that as well. You know? So, well, Trinidad is a funny country in that music has actually been part of our social history. There are only a few countries where a calypso has brought down the government single handedly in the past. So, you guys see your, yourself as part of that process, part of the personal empowerment of, of just spreading personal empowerment and good vibes to yes. the listeners. Yes, yes. That is, that is it exactly. And good vibes is, is a exactly. good vibes is a very cliched statement. I ain't, I ain't saying right, a bad yeah. thing to say, but good vibes are really cliched statement. Somehow, in people's minds, when they associate good vibes and the Caribbean, they think flowers and, and yeah, pina coladas right. and those kind of and stuff. Beach, the beach, and yeah. <laughs> and we love the beach and we love <laughs> flowers, yeah. right? Coconut shells with little umbrellas. I ain't a yeah, fan yeah. of pina coladas necessarily, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, our good vibe is really about once you know yourself, Red Blinky, you know? Once a person discovers herself, that's it. You will be happy. You, you seem to be drawn to the scenes of a very localized experience, a, a Caribbean experience. Do you find yourself as an artist very influenced by Caribbean history or, or Trinidadian society and the, the artists that have come before us over the decades? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, the person who have the, the, the band or, or the artist that, that most heavily influenced my style of guitar playing was David Rodder and Charlie Zucci. Kind of started from there because we grew up on that. You know, we grew up on here and I grew up here in Sparrow and thing in my father house and thing like that, you know. And after a while, you grow up, you become a teenager and then that is when you started taking outside influences. Right. At that point now, I started listening to Marilyn Manson and yeah. Metallica and Soulfly, Soul Fly, <laughs> you know. And then eventually I come Ramstein. full circle Ramstein. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. I, eventually I come full circle and start back listening to Burning Spear and I now yeah. catch on to Steel Pulse. Right. You know, so it's like a lot of influences have gone into our music, you know. Mm -hmm. Even now, you know, John and myself, we, we are classical Indian music fans. Right. Corey and myself, uh, uh, we love Turkish instrumental and, you know, it's, just, it's a whole sort of stuff now. No, no, Otto is a man a like Mastodon and him kind of... how... How, yeah. I, I know none of us are fans of labels, but when people ask you to describe Gazette, what, what genre do you describe yourself as? How, how, it's, how do you market yourselves? Because well, when a publisher comes to you, it's always to a tricky where, one. Yeah, that it's is, always yeah. tricky because at the end of the day, what do you call something that, that you can't name? You had name? I don't make up a name. You know, it's a kind of Kaiso based rock. That's, that's the best way I can say it. It's a rhythm, it's rhythm rock now. Yeah, right. You know, you have roots rock. Which is reggae, and then you have rhythm rock, which is us. Because yeah. we really playing out a kind of percussive, you know, yeah, right. very kind true, of, you true. know, rhythmic kind of thing going all the time. Back to this point of the captain, we would agree that you are the captain of Gazette. Well, yeah. Is it that all the songs are written by the singer songwriter, yeah. or is it that we have a collaborative process, or well, is it always in songs, your bedroom? Yeah, well, the songs are written by our captain, yes. Yeah. yes but yes. what you hear, when you see we get in that band room and we jam, yeah. that's the first thing we do. We jam and everybody adds yeah. a different and sound, a different vibe. So basically, the words are his, yes. but the sound ours. Sound. Sound. Ours. Yeah. You will hear something and somebody might start to sing, "Wuki tung tung tungki tung." Or we have we have a song where we have to song like an opera chicken. Yeah. Don't ask. Uh, <laughs> You'll hear it. An operatic chicken. An operatic chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. You know, but it's a collective. Everybody puts. Play, has an input. Yeah. Well, yeah. Spoken word shows you'd play by yourself. That one about um, this not good enough. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. An old song, you know. Yeah. Come back now in a full form. Well, I mean, it's, it's really all right. Like I said, I'm gonna really. write all the songs as calypsos, really. Okay. You understand? Sit down in my house, chill. You know, eat a mango or two, and just write <laughs> the song as a calypso on acoustic. And then when I bring it to the band. That is when everybody started chopping influences. You know, Mandy says a person with a very, you know, soul, a soulful kind of, what do you call that? Bitch? That's like a neo soul, yeah, you know? Neo soul. Very, very saucy yes. kind of voice, yeah. you know, very, 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 very smooth, you know? And yeah, he appeal. That so appeal there's a person with more, much more, you know, yeah, yeah. she has have a kind of flower woman kind of, <laughs> you know? Real gum, yeah. Sean. No. Sean is a man where he. Yeah, well, speaking of chicken, <laughs> John. John is a man. You perform with two bands tonight. Yeah. Perform with Boss Rock, perform with Gazette. When it comes to Gazette, what do you bring out of yourself as a guitarist? What do you find yourself being able to tap into when it comes to the Gazette sound? Um, 
Well, that's kind of listen to Nikolai's direction in the sense that he'll usually tell a story yes, in yes. his songs, so I try to kind of use that as a theme right. for how I would approach his songs. And I must say tonight, it was ripping. It was See, really ripping. Yeah, man, People really, really felt it. The See, effects, tonight. the delays, the whammies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really, really got the vibe. The wow, everything. <laughs> yeah, we take, we take in your pedals and things. You see, yeah. 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 But that's usually just kind of based on whatever theme you sing in the moment. Yeah. Will kind of guide me. Oh. But see the performer having fun. They just want to get in that tune, you know. So I think that's why people do it, and that is why for me it's just an unbelievable experience to hear people singing that back at you, you know. That's when I run out and hug them, Jed. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, a very important point. We understand you guys are in the process of recording a record, which yes. is your first full length record. It's not it's an EP. EP. It's, it's an EP. EP. It's a six song EP. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Six yeah. song EP with, with, I assume, uh, some of the songs you would have Definitely. played tonight. Definitely. Yes. Right, so how's, how's that process going? That process is going really good. And we understand you're working with Random Designs. Yes, we are. With Marty, Marty and, and Dion. Big up to Random Designs and right. Marty and Definitely Dion. Definitely big up to Marty. Team. And Dion, you know, they've actually been really working this with us really, really nicely. You know, and the process has come along really well. We've finished actually recording the raw tracks. And the next stage is mixing and mastering. We're going to do the actual post-production and make it song crisp, you Lovely. know. So it's going really nice. And we actually anticipate How was that experience as such an organic band, such a, um, a personal vibe to translate that into a more structured environment in studio in. Yeah, the, oh, it wasn't the structured at all. And, okay. It was... Um, you guys did your own thing. We were in the booth and Mantis and I were relaying our tracks and on the side, in the shadows, Nikolai is there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's singing with us. He's right. not mic, but he created the guys in the yeah. studio. Like a scratch fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, we I took some had, direction from scratch, actually. We also had a time where um, one of our songs to get into the mood of it, we dimmed the lights and we lit some candles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now love you. Yeah. So we but can expect that energy to translate into definitely, the record. Definitely, yeah. definitely. The vibe, because I mean, that was some, that was a big concern for us with, as far as mm -hmm. studio album is concerned. Because studio to me, you, you never really capture the full vibe of live, man. Gazet is a vibes band. Yes, yes, definitely, you know? definitely. But magically, we have managed to capture that vibe. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, you're yes. hearing it. As a matter of fact, I played it for a couple of very close friends, you know, and they were actually like sitting down there smiling their head off, lovely. drinking ginger ale and saying We have a, a tentative release date, we're looking at 2013. No, we're looking at 2012. 2012. We're looking at 2012. We're looking at 2012, guys, look out for Gazette's EP. Do we have a title of the EP? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. yet we haven't we haven't tell nobody nothing yet. We but we guarantee this could be off the hook. This is coming from Random Design Studios, as we know who has a magnificent reputation for putting out some of the highest quality local music we Great see song. whole crews recording you know and i think that's the thing about trinidad although we're isolated as artists we still feed off each other's energy Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. and and i and i think that's important girls you can't help but notice your, your lovely accessories you have on tonight thank you you know ac accenting not only what you're wearing <laughs> but bringing out your overall performance because i think gazette Visually is a is a colorful band. Just as the sound is a colorful yep. and and emotionally and artistically intense song. So we understand these are done by your friends. Denise Hendry. Denise Hendry. She does local. Um, she's a local artisan, if you will. <laughs> These lovely jewelry, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, belts. They hold belts, lovely yeah, she woven belts pieces. Also. She's very very talented and a friend and of the band. We're, we're, and we're if one purchase, right, well, this is what I'm trying to let you know. If you are. Um, Interested ladies and guys who like to treat their ladies good, you can always hit us up on our Facebook page. That's Gazette. G Y A Z E T T E. Keeping it local. So let us know. Yeah. And she cuts everything, every single piece is individual. She doesn't repeat. I think we get a theme that Gazette is very organic. Yeah, Gazette is. is not a box. Gazette evolves and it, it's an it's a organism in itself. Yeah, it is. And you guys have definitely come a long way. And tonight I couldn't help but notice your flagship song, as you were saying, Captain. Yeah. You saved yeah. that for last. And I mean, half the crowd was singing along to yeah. the lyrics. People who you don't even know is your partner, 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 yeah. and they know your songs. How, how does that feel? How, does it, how rewarding is that to see you tapping into people's response like that? 
Judd, I, I don't know how to explain that one. I mean, Pure that, happiness. that is, yeah, that's unbelievable, Judd. That is unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, you stand up there, we singing, and we just vibes in as a family on stage, and then they vibes in back at us, and it's like, you feel like, like, wow. Sometimes I just want to cry, it's be like, wow. Yeah, this is like, that's, that's like one of the reasons we do what we do. And we have, I mean, we are band, that. we're really blessed. I mean, you know, we have, we have a lot of people around us that really, I guess, contribute to all of that vibe that, you know, and I think that is what actually helps people to respond to us, I feel. I mean, at least, like, my opinion is the fact that we've managed to formulate a solid family amongst ourselves, you know. This video right underneath here, you're going to see a link to Gazette's Facebook page. If you haven't done that yet, go to it now, click like, invite all your friends to like Gazette, support local music. Go to islandnoise.net. We'll have a page about Gazette. You can find out what's the latest with Gazette, when the next shows are. We'll keep you up to date on their record. Hopefully soon we'll have a sneak peek of some of their up and coming music and support local culture. And I just want to finish on one thing Nikolai was saying. We're saying that you have this problem of our organic sound that you can't put a label on. And we're in a country of 1.3 million people. We're dropping the sea. We are nothing. And yet we have artists which transcend labels, transcend boundaries. And I think that's how you need to gas it. That's a manifestation of the creativity of the people at Trinidad and Tobago. So we want everyone there listening and watching to go out there, support Gazette, support yeah, local, local music. music. Go to islandnoise.net. It's bigger. Much love. Woo!